The Israeli army claimed it would respond to a Hamas rocket attack from Beit Hanoun the day before and urged residents to relocate to Gaza City, large areas of which have been destroyed. Beit Hanoun, which is close to the border, was one of the first targets of the massive bombardment and ground Israeli invasion launched since the war started. Three Palestinian civilians were killed and others were injured Wednesday after the Israeli army bombed a residential apartment east of Gaza, Wafa News Agency reported. The Israeli forces also opened fire on citizens' homes east of the Burij camp in the central Gaza Strip, injuring many citizens, who were subsequently transferred to Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital in the city of Deir al-Bala in central Gaza. The Israeli forces' boats also bombed the area around Wadi Gaza Bridge northwest of Nuzirat camp in central Gaza. Local sources said that the occupation forces stormed the eastern area of Akud Street and Beit Furik military checkpoint, accompanied by a bulldozer, and raided a number of homes in Balata camp amid heavy gunfire and sound and gas bombs, and proceeded to blow up the headquarters of the Fatah movement in the middle of the camp. The headquarters of the Fatah movement had been subjected to previous bombing and explosions, following the storming of the eastern area of the city. Since Russia's full-scale invasion in 2022, Ukraine has repeatedly struck Crimea, destroying or damaging about half of the Russian Navy's warships, including one submarine. As Business Insider writes, our country has used drones, naval drones, and anti-ship missiles against the fleet and the Kirsch Bridge, often with devastating consequences. Ukraine's campaign has even forced Russian warships to leave Crimea for bases in the port cities of Feodosia on the far side of Crimea and Novorossiysk in Russia. This not only prevents the occupiers from using the peninsula as a key logistics route through southern Ukraine, but also spoils its appeal for Russian tourists. But, as the publication writes, if Ukraine hopes to reclaim Crimea, it will need a huge strike force because the battle for Crimea could become the heaviest battle of the bloody war. It will be extremely difficult to get Crimea back because Crimea is essentially an island, retired U.S. Marine Corps colonel and senior advisor at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, Mark Kansian, told the publication. A landing is impossible because Ukraine lacks ships to transport large numbers of troops and their heavy equipment. In addition, Russia still has long-range aircraft and submarines, which are essentially invulnerable at sea, the expert explained. Russia has extensive military infrastructure across Crimea that would need to be severely damaged for Ukraine to have any chance of taking it back, according to Basil Germond, an international security expert at Lancaster University in the UK. Military experts and analysts told Business Insider that Crimea is difficult to reach due to its location far from the front lines, Russia's heavily fortified defensive lines and Ukraine's lack of manpower and air power. Crimea is deep inside Russian-occupied territory and far from the current front lines, Kansian said. Russia has also heavily fortified its front line with anti-tank ditches, trench warfare, dragon's teeth and minefields with most of its defenses in northern Crimea. The Russians are heavily fortified and well defended in these areas and it will take time for the Ukrainians to break down those defenses said Mark Temnitsky, a non-resident fellow at the Atlantic Council's Eurasia Center. Without the ability to transport large forces by air or sea, Ukraine will be forced to attack through Russian defensive lines to get closer to Crimea. Despite the battlefield difficulties Ukraine faces, some experts believe it can retake Crimea given enough weapons, troops and time. This would require crossing the Perekop Isthmus, separating Crimea from mainland Ukraine or the Sivash. However, to do this, Ukraine first needs to break through the Surovikin Line, a complex system of defensive fortifications and obstacles in the south and east, which Ukraine has never broken through. Founder of the German think tank European Resilience Initiative Center, the question now is when Ukraine will accumulate so much firepower, not just artillery but also aviation, 
that will be able to break through these defensive lines and then reach the operational space of Crimea. If Ukrainian soldiers do reach Crimea, Sumleni said they could destroy the Kirsch Bridge and the last ferry crossing over the Sea of Azov, cutting off Russian supply lines to the peninsula and isolating Russian forces. Sumleni added that Crimea has historically been vulnerable to attacks.